on the trail radio here and we're kind of returning to basics today i kind of want to go over the baofeng uv5r as an unlocked radio what is it possible to transmit on keep in mind i'm not actively advocating that you transmit on any of the frequencies that i'm currently showing just simply talking about what you are physically capable of transmitting on on the baofeng uv5r so let's say you have an unlocked UV5R. Here are some of the things that you can do with the frequency mode in SHTF situations. First things first, you're going to want to go ahead and switch into frequency mode or VFO mode by pressing that orange button right there. To start off here, as you see, the bare minimum megahertz that you can actively transmit at is 130 megahertz. Now, on the other end of the spectrum, Menu. you also have 176 megahertz being the maximum that you can transmit. Using offsets and stuff does not actually work if you go below or above the number I just listed. And with the ultra high frequency, you can go at a bare minimum of 400 and a maximum of 520 megahertz. Keep in mind that the antenna may dictate what you're actively able to transmit at, such as this Nagoya NA771. It is actually only rated, I believe, to go up to a maximum of 480 megahertz on this model of antenna. Don't quote me on that, I could be wrong. Starting off, we can actually see the very first set of frequencies that you can legally use if you have a amateur radio license the frequency of 144 to 148 megahertz. That is an amateur frequency. Within the 151 and 154, there are the five MERS channels that are an unlicensed radio service. Around the 165 megahertz range, somewhere around there, is the VHF Marine Band for talking on boats. From 430 and 440 megahertz are more amateur frequencies. You may find other ham operators on there. On 462 MHz to 467, you may find multiple GMRS frequencies, such as GMRS Channel 1. Other frequencies that you may find are some business band frequencies that you can talk on, not legally of course, the 464 MHz range. You may also sometimes find other types of frequencies that you may hear and not transmit on. Remember, make sure you get licensed and make sure you don't actually use this radio to talk on it unless you are in an emergency situation.